Because bro was like, man, this kid's going to be a star one day. What you got to do? Come shop with Lil A-Rad. You heard it here first. All right, dude, Chris. Well, now let's go to you, brother. All right, so basically, my name came around around middle school. You know, that sh people just started calling me Dude Chris. Because, like, origin it originated from my PS4 name. What was your PS4 name? Durix. Durix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, did, where did that name come from? Hold up. On some real shit. Someone said it wrong, I think. Hey, yo, what's that your shit password? just stuck. Bro. 258013. That shit catchy. You know, when you hear a song, you hear Ducrest, you know who the fuck. You know who no, the but fuck how did Durix become a thing? Like some elementary, like, I want to be in FaZe Clan shit. Phase Durex? Yeah. Some Phase Clan shit. <laughs> like, I used to, bro, I used to be on that You have gone crazy with the lights. I used to be, like, back as a kid, like, I really wanted to be, like, a pro-ass, like, Phase Clan member or some shit. Yeah, I bro, don't I know. remember you, you were going crazy with them oh, games. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yo, that was, like, everyone's dream, like, especially For mine. real. And Rami's. Just being on phase, like every day I would hit trick shots. Like, thinking one, on day, they God, on <laughs> one day they will one find me. One day they will find me. One day they will find me. But God, you just hope. And like, you run into day, a lobby with them or some shit. <laughs> which I did multiple times. Damn. So I'm in even. I'm even in one of their freaking videos. Like you can see me kill feeding people with my sniper. Damn. With one of um, I think his name. You're capping. Fade. No, nah, I swear to God, face Kool Aid. Face Kool Aid. I think that might be his name. His like logo is like a Kool Aid per person. I don't know if he's still in phase or not, but this was like this was back in like MW three, MW three like Black Ops like back in the day. Type was he actually thing, so. like some face dude though? Yeah. Did he make YouTube videos? Yeah, yeah. I Damn. think he was like the first black person to join. Damn. His name was like Phase Kool Aid. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I, bro, there's a lot of people in Phase we don't even know, bro. We only yeah. know like the main people, low key. Like the LA people and shit. Bro, do you guys know Phase Fakey? Oh, yeah, yeah. Phase yeah. Fakey? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's still around. Or I don't Faze know. Tico? I, I know, yeah, I know Tico. Tico. Yeah, Tico. Tico. I know Tico. Bro, Tico goes crazy. I've been following him for the longest. Yeah. Bro. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> You've been hearing about Rain, though, with like. He got paralyzed. Bro. Situation. Yeah. Dang. He paralyzed from the waist down. What happened? Like, he low-key was doing, like, some crazy drugs and shit, and it just fucked up his body. His nervous yeah. system? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What? Oh, because yeah. he was doing, like, lean and shit. And he was doing, like, hella perks and shit. Yeah. We in the UFO <laughs> right now. <laughs> Purple for that lean, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you got, shout out Faze Rain. <laughs> for real. All right. Now, but on the real All note, right. though, that's kind of like, damn. You just gotta, you just gotta be aware of that shit. Gotta stay safe, kids. For real. Hey, on the bright side, he can still play video games. For real, that's what he's been doing, too. I've been seeing he's on Twitch or some shit now. Really? Yeah, I think he's back into that gaming shit now. That's what's Like, true. gaming might make a comeback 2020s. Gorilla Boy is taking over. Be ready. Yep. Be ready. Tell your mom to make more spaghetti. Because we coming in and taking that crown, Gorilla Gaming. For real. Yep. Change that. Change the gaming for the green, eh, rap. There we go. Bright green, shout out Xbox. So Ben Stein. But we playing PlayStation. Why'd you choose your name Ben Stein? <laughs> <laughs> it all started when I was a young boy. You know what I'm saying? Back in the 360 days, I was confused. You know what I'm saying? All my names were Elijah and shit. <laughs> but then one day, I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna name my Xbox account Ben Stock. Is that Ben Stock 10? Yep, Vinsock 10, Vinsock 9. That's the PS3 days. Vinsock 9 is the PS3 days. I swear to God. Vinsock 9. And then, then in real life, when I play sports, people call me Vinsock. So I was like, I knew, I knew that was me. I knew that was going to stick. It just sticks, and it's like the lame that you've been going. <laughs> 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 The name that you've been being <laughs> being been called, your name that you, that the name that you've been <laughs> the name that you've been called for a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's been Ben Stock is usually the name you want to stick with. And Ben Stock too. I feel like you never heard a person called Ben Stock. Yeah, for real. So we just finna bring it out for the public. Oh my God, first appearance. So I feel like people when they think of Ben Stock, they probably think of like, isn't there that one big concert that was called Woodstock? I don't think I've heard of it. I know about Coachella and Rolling Loud. That's all There's I really know. There's a big 
freaking concert back in the day called Woodstock. I feel like all the hippies popped out to that in like the 1970s. Oh, in the 70s? I have no idea, bro. I was born in 2004. Bet. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah, a Rap's looking it up right now. So Woodstock. I never heard of that before. I'll tell you that. The only stock that I know is right is that beat right, stock. So Woodstock was a musical music music festival held in August 15th through the 18th in 1969. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, die. It is referred to as the Woodstock Rock Festival, and it attracted an audience of more than four four hundred thousand people. Four hundred thousand people. That's at a, a lot concert, of people. Boy. That's a lot of people. Yeah, four hundred. Thirty-two 000. acts performed outdoors despite rain happening. They were playing just jazz, folk music. This was located in. Bro, I think New it's York. off balance, bro. I think. The festival has become widely regarded as a pivotal moment in popular music history as well as defining events for the counterculture generation. So like the hippies, yeah, like yeah. smoking pot, this is what kind of got that big. Bad, just bad. like going That's the OG the rolling loud. Yeah, just going against the norm of, oh, like women shouldn't have sex. Uh, women shouldn't no have kids. Sex. What do you mean? No kids be before married, no having uh, sex before marriage. Mm, yeah. Girls got to dress appropriately, guys in suits and ties kind of dude, like... This this, that's like, low-key what broke it, too, the hippie period yeah, and shit. Yeah, where I'm our funk boy movement during Woodstock, and that's what Ben Stock makes me kind of think of sometimes. It's, it's his own movement. It's Ben Stock. It's the wave. It's it's the culture. It's Yeah, yeah. they finna understand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They sleeping on it right now, but when it's when it's got them numbers... They're gonna be loving it. <laughs> All right, next motherfucking question, y'all. Tattoo ideas in the future. Who wanna go first? All right, so I'll go first because I really want to get this one, like, soon, soon. All right, tell it's these a kids. Little, you know, it's a little, I believe in the moon that, I believe the moon has, like, a spiritual power. So I want to get something related to the moon. I found this, like, image of, like, a skeleton hand holding, like, a crescent moon. I want to get that shit on my arm. And that's probably going to be Hey, send me a picture. Hat. I'm going to put it on the f- fucking thing. I got thing. you. Smooth, I got you. Smooth, smooth. But yeah, that's that. I'm definitely gonna get GBS tatted on me soon. Yeah, Gorilla that's gonna be boy one, of the, my, one of my first tats too. It's <laughs> a Gorilla Boy shit tattoo. That, that, that. So I'll go next. A Rab inspired me. I'm gonna get a full chest piece. You know what I'm saying? A Rab yes, got A Rab got a crazy tiger. Oh God, a full revelation coming soon. But I can only show you a little bit. You have to get close on the ass. You can see the little tiger. Yeah. The little song. Hey, but little I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a soon. monkey. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying on my chest, a crazy scary monkey. Hey. Yes, sir. Certified. Certified. <laughs> now, nah, but I'm gonna get a crazy monkey, because it's the Chinese. Uh, what's it called? Chinese zodiac. Zodiac. So this is my Chinese zodiac. So we're gonna go off based off of our Chinese zodiac. Just I'm getting a tiger. Because his is the tiger. My Chi- 2004 Chinese Zodiac is a monkey. You know, yours is the goat. Damn. 03 is a goat. So we got the tiger, monkey, and goat. Oh, God. Dang, it's a goat tattoo. If it's gray, that shit would look dope as fuck. Bro, I low-key would do that on God. A uh, big chest. I'm going to get a, a big goat. A goat with some crazy-ass horns and yeah, shit. Yeah, dude, my, bro, key, dude, like my monkey's going to have, idea, like, bro. fangs, bro. That's low-key a dope-ass idea, bro. Bro, I'm going to do that, too, bro. Bro, because I want something scary, too, bro. Like, they, when they see me... They're going to see the scary monkey and shit. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> and I'm going to get my fingers tatted. Got to get Ben Stock. Every- so, oh, damn, we in the ocean today. We swimming. Oh, God. Swimming in the ocean seas, you know what I'm saying? This is an idea for face tats. So, when any of my brothers die, I'm getting the names tatted on my face. Shit. What you thinking, Abraham? What do you mean, what am I thinking of what? What tats you want in the future? Oh, <clears throat> well, I think it would not be a fair shot to show you that I got this on my form right now saying, for those I love, I will sacrifice. Represent. Represent. Okay, and then also right here, I can reveal this one too. This is a Hamza hand. It's very important in my culture. It watches out for bad energy. It's is that Arabian. your first hat? Yeah, this was my first tattoo in 2017 when I graduated. Damn. I, I got stories behind my tattoo because they bring me back to a special place. And all my tats I got, I got them when I was going through very important events in my life. So they kind of mean a lot to me, to be honest. I don't know 
if you guys can relate, but I get tats just like for some reason whenever I'm in my moment. <laughs> why did he get that? Why did he get the forearm, bro? Cause I just started like school and it's like just a new beginning for college. Yeah, yeah. So like I got to do my sacrifice and that was the year when I came up with Infinite Emoji like after the summer coming Damn. up. Oh, hold on, hold like, on, I got some story behind it. After you're done with the tats, we got to talk about some Infinite Emoji, bro. We got to let these motherfuckers <laughs> okay, know. But, but for those I love, I would sacrifice just the motto because every day I wake up, I look at my arm and it kind of reminds me to the day when I was on my bed. When I graduated high, graduated high school saying like I want to change my life and go beyond this, way beyond and beyond, beyond and far, whatever the saying goes, of where I was. So, but why this, did, yeah, where did you get so that? So I, I was just going through a hard time, like yeah. after high school. So this is kind of just watching out for like bad energy, and like the people that are around me at the time, just kind of like watching out spiritually. You know what I'm saying? I got a third eye. That's what it means. Definitely. Let me see that John real quick. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy looking, bro. It looks good. Yes, sir. That's solid. <clears throat> Why did he get the tiger? Sure. Like, what what kind of moment were you going through when you got that tiger well, on your chest? Right now, it was probably one of the most prolific times in my life because, like, I'm finishing school. All my brothers growing up doing big things. Yes, sir. And it's just that time I've been, like, really thinking about and manifesting for the longest time since I was a kid. Just, like, for this moment to shine <laughs> like gorilla boys no taking off no cap Mommy's doing his thing my parents yeah. up like started from the bottom now we here like i'm For a real. tiger my full form coming out just Same like less. naruto when he turns into a, the nine oh, yeah. the nine i don't say nine <laughs> train but the nine tail right <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah yes yeah, sir so we're gonna go off the rails with this john infant moji I want, so tell these kids what the main purpose is, the thought process, how it's going to change the culture, how it's going to bring the people together, and how it's going to change the world. So Infinimoji is supposed to connect us in a way that social media has never been Wait, connected. wait, hold on, hold on. This man codes it yeah, so on his laptop. This man makes this app from scratch. Completely. I remember when me and him were sitting on here on this exact couch. He pulled up his laptop. I pulled out crazy stuff to make us feel crazy. And we were just, <laughs> I was just <laughs> learning. Yeah. I was just learning so much knowledge, man. Hey, I got to dab you up. I'm proud, man. Because uh, no normal kids can code apps, websites. I got to dab you up for one <clears> time. <throat> I right, keep going, Harder bro. I'm sorry, man. I gotta, I gotta give them the brief information before you start the popping context, up. The yeah. context. So, Infinite Emoji just, I went to school, like okay. I said. Got Infinite this Emoji. Tag. We gotta change that bitch to. Uh, got that tag. There we go. I went to Wisconsin Dells, and Rami remembers. I'm like, yo, Rami, I got the perfect idea for an app. I would just, like, in my moment. Yeah, like yeah. I said, like, I take memories very importantly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yo, I got an app that we can connect to each other virtually in a virtual, like, economy, virtual environment where we can physically collab with each other without having to be in the same room as the other person mm -hmm. with their own bitmojis. <laughs> so motivation. we pop out kind of like Sims and GTA, but we got a recorder on it with our own avatars that look like us. And yep. we can record ourselves in a virtual world. Yep. That's, like, the whole purpose is, like, instead of people just looking at their phone and being on their phone, I say we connect, like, virtually and you have your own like marker on the map that you're in because it's a virtual world like a 3d map of snapchat maps yep. or just like google earth 3d if you look up your house on google earth it's kind of like buildings are popping out and that's what i was kind of looking at with infinimoji connecting us more in person as well <laughs> kind of like pokemon go if you want to come right here you can part two bones we got bones up in here Come up One here. of the three <clears throat> kitties of the oh, couch cast. Shit. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> we got her. Bones is my other cat. I got three oh, cats. So bones. But I want to talk about the future yeah, with Bit Emoji. Out. Me and him were talking about A Rap is going to add uh, digital currency like uh, Bitcoin. Yep. Shit like that. Like cryptos and shit. Cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah that's cryptos. the word I was looking for. My bad, y'all. Yeah. To like. So, yeah, yeah. Gorilla Boy basically coin is gonna be like the next Gorilla coin. coin. Like, there's Dogecoin, 
Bitcoin and then there's going to be a Gorilla Coin. But like with Infinimoji, we can put in Gorilla Coin. Um, the cryptocurrency in it right now, just we don't really have a name for it because we're still in the making. But definitely cryptocurrency is the new wave and just like making blockchains for apps is going to be the new wave. So like right now you're seeing blockchains made out of currency, right? But if we use blockchains for social media apps, they're just going to be a lot different. It's yeah. going to be a whole new thing that no one has seen yet. And that's like the next next step in just like technologies, blockchain, social media, where everything gets verified and decentralized, just like the cone. For the kids. And <clears throat> what? how far are you of making this right now? Because I haven't heard you talk about bit, uh, information in a while. Are you still on that video yeah, thing? Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm working on the webcam feature where you can FaceTime and group chat with other people in your local area. So, like, right now, what it does is actually, like, connects you and puts you in a room with other people that you have a lot of interest with, right? So, when you go into these rooms, you'll be connected with people and groups of people where you can, like, hit up, yo, yo, like, what you need, I got you. Type of deal, or you can just easily hook up, find a friend to talk to, mm -hmm. or just FaceTime. And it's, like, almost like TikTok, you know, people, like, scrolling and just having that pure joy entertainment and that's what we're bringing with infinite emojis that ability to have that instant open up gratification of being able to talk to someone at any moment of the time without feeling like you're bothering them because they're on the same app with you as well looking for someone else to talk to that could be like a good outlet for a lot of people too. my brain is just exploded right now like this shit's crazy man oh god <clears throat> infant emoji what time are you dropping, like, the first product? Not the final, but, like, the first? The first version is hopefully dropping this May. This May? To probably towards the ending of May, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard, you heard it <clears throat> here first. You know what I'm saying? Gorilla Couch Talk. Couch Cast 5. I was going to say Couch Talk. <laughs> we got a lot of podcast ideas. Yeah, I got it. Shit's crazy. Gorilla Talk going to be a crazy <clears throat> thing in the future. Yeah, we definitely yeah, yeah change the color because the next topic... Change it to something crazy, eh, man? Something different, though. <laughs> Blue again? All right, I'll go with the orange. Artists y'all want to collab with in the future? Uh, who want to go first? Rihanna? <laughs> Definitely number one. Said shine bright like a diamond. Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye. Yeah. I'd say Kanye. See, I'll fuck with Kanye, come join the gorillas. Oh, God. We got you. You, you ain't, you got no wife no more. You no a free man. You, you a free man. Oh, God. You know and then saying? I would say, bro, that's just a whole list. You said top what? I mean, just Azul artists. Top. You want to collab Lil Uzi, Drake, Rihanna. You want to collab with everybody? ASAP Rocky. Damn, ASAP Rocky. Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> J. Cole. So you're going to collab with everybody in the game? A lot of them, yeah. 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 The ones I just named, definitely. There's a lot more out there, though. Yeah. Eminem. Really? Yeah. You make a song Eminem? That'd be crazy. What would it be fuck. about? Rap God? <laughs> rap Going God. Going back and forth, because we're both rap guys. We both can rap really fast. So we're like. Oh, you're the fastest rapper in the Gorilla Boys. <laughs> yeah. A Rap does take that title, I'll tell you that. Oh, God. A Rap go fucking machine gun on the ass. <laughs> Nah, but I would say my number one person I want to collab with is Young Thug. I feel like if me and Thug got on a track, the whole internet would break down. Like, it would crash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone's Wi-Fi is going down. Too much people are on the internet because the shit's going to go crazy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bro. Me, Thug, and Yachty on a song. That shit would go fuck. OG I, Yachty. I, OG Yachty. I'm on Yachty singing and shit. <laughs> With auto tune and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we, we would, all we would have to do is come up with a good ass song idea and just go with it and just make it work. For real. How about you, Duke Crash? Shit, we talking about like. Shit, I don't even know. Like, the, the way I make music and the way. I, I re, uh, the way I sound so different from anybody else in the game. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's. I feel like it would low key be hard to match up with a lot of people. You think so? 
Definitely. But, but you like, want, if you... I were to collab, if I, I definitely would want an Uzi feature. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. You know if. You no, know, if I get my feelings, I'm gonna want a Tracy feature. Oh God, <laughs> Lil Tracy, uh, Lil Dex. Tracy, Lil Tracy. There are so many. Yeah, people. De- I, I would I, say Dex, Tribby Red, like, Thug. Literally anybody you could think of, I like, I could be like, what's up? Snoop Dogg, <laughs> me and Snoop, 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 Snoop Dogg was Khalifa. You know, it's okay to cry if he like really goes back to what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Do I think me? Do he go? He go meet him or me? All of us going like a cyberpunk. Yeah, it's okay to cry. Yeah, he's good with that cyberpunk shit. Oh, God. Who? That's okay to cry. He's an underground artist. Yeah. But he's dope. Like, you know that shit I was on? Uh, yeah. Since September. I saw shit like that. <laughs> Andy on my leather. <laughs> like, he you makes, like, shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to me, me never. never. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, you got it. Oh. He's got my body. He's got, he's got my lottie. Oh, God. That's a classic <laughs> song. But, like, yeah. for... I love that song. To, like, my top five artists I definitely want to collab with ever in my career. Low key Uzi, 100% Kanye. Yeah, Kanye too. If there's still a deep down hidden X verse somewhere. You would buy that bitch? I would. What happens to like, <laughs> I don't mind, that should be crazy, <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Imagine having an X verse. Yeah, but you never knew the fuck you existed though, so I was like. Yeah, you're right. I mean, no, definitely. Like, I'm just saying like hypothetically though, like this is like some dream shit. Yeah. Um, Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa makes that motivate. Houses in the Hills too, yep. featuring Gorilla Voice. Oh God, we gonna make High School too. High School too. Hey, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa. I don't know oh, who God. made we the movie. Are, we your perfect contestants. We the directors, Voice. cameraman. For real. We everything. For real. You know what I'm saying? High School too coming. High School coming. two. It's coming soon. High School two. Mac and Devin, first. Or Mac and Devin and Gorilla Boys or some shit. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it work. The title. Oh, God. We just thinking, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we just thinking. Still in the works, but. Still in the works. <laughs> bro, Snoop Dogg don't even know we alive, bro. Nah, he's going too soon. <laughs> he's going too, bro. He's, he's going, going too, too soon. <laughs> All right, next motherfucking question, y'all. How did you know you really want to live your dreams? And I'll start with this one because I remember perfectly. <clears throat> It was the first time I had that THC in my brain. Everything came, like everything made more sense. Everything, okay, I know this is about to go down. Okay, I know. <clears throat> All right, y'all, we back. I guess we've been recording for 30 minutes, so we back on track. So the question was, how did you really know you want to live your dreams? Well, Ben Sox about to tell you right now. So the THC is in my brain. Everything came clear to me. It made sense to me. And I knew. Less blind because I I was so blind that like I loved music so much, like it was I just listened to it every yeah, day. I didn't I didn't realize how much I really loved music. Oh God! Oh, until God. that THC was in my brain cells. I'm oh, like, God. damn. It's really that. I was. It's ma- always been that. Yeah. It's always been music. Oh God! It's always been music's music. all I ever had. For real, it's, there's always since day been one. Music. You know what I'm saying? Never left I can my side. To that shit heavy too. Oh God, dab me up. A rap, dab me up. Shit. It's always <laughs> been music. Always been music. So I knew that shit. <laughs> and the YouTube shit too. I've been watching YouTube since I was in first grade, and I always wanted to be a YouTuber, but I had no idea how, no idea what to do, but. Like I said, the THC in my brain made me realize, all right, I really got to do this and make sure I'm not the same. Make sure I stand out. That's all you got to do, man. For real. Yo, where sure y'all want to go now? Um, For me, definitely the point where I realized I just needed to make it was when I realized that you really just need to get up and do it. Like by yourself, pretty much. Like ain't nobody really like nobody's gonna get it for you. you yeah, but how I mean? did you know you wanted to do that though? That's what I'm saying. That's the question was. Oh, type shit. Yeah, yeah don't trip. What I like, what made you feel like okay, like you know what I'm saying? Like that, that moment. Bro, I low key, honestly, I just realized that over time. Like honestly. I just kept doing it and doing <laughs> it, and I just like 
the more I kept doing it, the more I just fell in love with it, I guess, and realized this is it. I feel that. How about you, I, Are I you the same thing with anything her? else. So you're saying, like, when did I know that what I wanted to do was what I wanted to do? Yeah, yeah. Like, that moment, like, you know what? Like, I don't know. I always wanted to do music before I even, like, stepped in the studio. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. I just want to be a rock star. Like, that's all I really wanted to be. Like, <laughs> it was just, like... Like, elementary school, my teacher, Mr. Murphy, helped me out, like, become more confident. Because, bro, was like, man, this kid's going to be a star one day. So I'm like, okay, say less. And, like, he would only... Like, he would literally take pictures of me with all the chicks in class with just me while the guys watch. <laughs> I like pull up to fuck? class and it's just, You're capping, bro. <laughs> nah. You're fucking capping. <laughs> nah, Mr. Murphy loves me, bro. And then for the Michael Jackson dance that we had to do in elementary school, <laughs> I was actually Michael Jackson. Like, I was the star of the show for a concert. Damn. So, like, he put me on with game and he just believed in me because I was always that class clown and he, like, was the, one of the only teachers that, like, actually supported that and then, like, <laughs> what? Get me in trouble for it? That's love. Type of deal. He's like, bro, you can really go somewhere with this type of vibe. And that was like when I really Shout out Mr. Crazy. Murphy, man. Dabs like Mr. Murphy, Hunter like Mr. Murphy, man. They all I never I miss Hunter, Mr. bro. Mr. Murphy. Mr. Mr. Murphy gave me a fucking blue slip once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm if I fuck with Mr. Murphy. Like Why did that. he give you a blue slip, bro? Dude, probably that was on some fucking hood rash shit. Hood rash. <laughs> Were you whooping kids' some, asses or something? That was probably doing some fuck shit to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, bro, he is one of those teachers that do give blue subs out of blue oh, yeah, he was yes, strict, bro. bro. I was doing he was the fourth grade bell, bro. I remember that. Oh, God. He was that He teacher. was always on the corner and shit. But, like, in class, bro, he got his students hype, bro. He wasn't even like that in class. And that's what I liked about yeah, him. Oh, God. I yeah. had him for class one time for, like, this one. We had to, like, build... This fucking like alarm shit. You remember that? Oh yeah. my fucking god! <laughs> Dude with like a little yeah. the crayon box. Yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> that shit was dope. The buzzer beater. Dude, yeah, the I, buzzer I beater. Beat that shit, bro. I low key like I got a four on that. I remember I'm that. saying that's when I knew I was gonna be an engineer one day. <laughs> <laughs> bro, do we? You. Do you remember that egg drop shit? Yeah, bro. <laughs> We had to like build a box and you'd be dropping far and <laughs> if the egg doesn't crack you in or some shit. Dude, that shit was fucking wild. Dude. Elementary was way more lit than fucking middle school and high school, I feel like. Don't tell me Mr. Murphy wasn't that dude. But I never talked to him, yeah, bro. Yeah, for real. I had fucking dude, me, Hunter. Yeah, yeah dude, that's, how me, Hunter. that's how me and him we met. Had we met, little, we we had, met in fourth we grade. Had fucking diva. Yeah, dude, Miss Hunter, she could catch her hands. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. She's watching Ms. Hunt, Ms. Hunter was giving out blue slips like a fucking candy oh to her that. Even in class? She didn't give me no fucking pink slips. She Dude, did she give you blue, blue slips for fucking not doing your homework? Yeah, bro, she gave me blue slips instead of pink slips. Every normal kid got a pink slip, I got a fucking blue slip. This dude would not do his homework in fourth grade, he's got blue slips. <laughs> <laughs> but low key, nothing has changed. Like, Say, bro, I remember when you were in fourth grade, your ass getting a blue slip. Like, were you just chilling on desk like this? Your head down, and she slapped the fuck out of your dad with a blue slip. She's like, Dan, did you finish your homework today? I was like, Nah, she's no. like, I'm gonna have to give you a blue slip. <laughs> Boom! Oh blue God. slip on that oh ass. Boy. Blue slip on that ass. Yeah, turn the lies blue for that one. <laughs> blue slip special. Hell no. Bro, for the kids that don't know what a blue slip is, is so is it every weekend? I don't know. I don't, I don't forgot. Remember. It's a blue slip class and you got to hang out with the principal or some shit. Oh, God. And he just fucking degrades you as a little elementary kid. He just talks so much shit to you. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's like some old ass fucking Mr. Dude. Januska. Fuck Mr. Januska. He can catch some hands too. <laughs> Januska old ass gonna fucking fall over. Hey. <laughs> Hey, that's my elementary school, boy. That's my elementary Just school, saying, too. <laughs> Don't all... hate it. Don't be hating. But I never got a blue slip in elementary. No, I got multiple. That's a fun fact. I, I got never got one. double digits. How about you, A-Rab? Do you get a blue slip? I know you guys got a yeah, blue yeah, slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I got a blue slip. got a We some blue slip kids. But not, not me, bro. Much, I, I got pink it. slips, though. But I, I never got blue slips. I got pink slips and blue slips. <laughs> 
<laughs> we the blue slip kids. Dan, Dukers in class be like going through his blue slip and picking stuff like this, like it's money. Oh, Bro, Daz was the king blue slip kid. Dude, he I got blue slip in blue slip class. <laughs> What? You're for a laughing in blue slip class. You got That's blue. some Dabs elementary wild Dude, Dabs was a fucking savage in elementary school. I swear to God, he's a fucking animal. <laughs> oh my God. Dabs was bro. crazy. Guys, bro. All right, fucking y'all. Blue slip but, class, bro. if you like the movement, yes, yep. sir. And if you like what we're doing, all our social medias down below. Yes, like so, comment, tell your mom and your pops, and hit the bell because Ben Side just dropped. Hit the bell, hit the bell. And I'll see y'all oh, in, in the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>